Hello everybody and welcome to this podcast episode which is dedicated to the future of ArcelorMittal's electrical steel segment. With me today I have a team of experts who will show you how their work supports your business and the society as a whole as we transition towards more sustainable mobility and energy generation. Let me present you to our guest today. We have Eric Werner who is the sales director for electrical steels, Lode van der Bosse, product development engineer for electrical steels and Tom van der Putte who is responsible for sustainability and sales development of decarbonized steel. Thank you and welcome to our discussion. Let's start by asking each of you to choose one keyword to describe the forces which are driving the electrical steel segment today. Lode, let's start with you. Well, I'm an application guy, so I go for electrification. How about you, Tom? Well, for me, that's definitely decarbonization. Eric, which keyword were you thinking of? No doubt, I will go for development. You answered development, Eric. From this, we understand that demand for electrical steels is higher than ever. What do you think are the main drivers behind this? As you know, electrical steels are increasingly in demand. And we expect this demand to grow in the years to come. For example, in the automotive sector, there are important drivers behind this, such as European CO2 emission reduction regulations, including the recent ban of internal combustion engines from 2035. These initiatives are aiming at empowering sustainable electrified transport solutions. But the effort do not stop at mobility. As we all know, one of the real challenges is the transition towards renewable electricity production, for example, wind, solar, or even hydro. Add to this a general trend for substantial increase of electrified application. There are also stricter international and European standards, which aim to improve the efficiency of motors, generators, appliance, and energy infrastructure as a whole. Despite the diversity and complexity of applications, ArcelorMittal, as a leading electrical steel supplier, should be able to provide each customer with a product that matches their specific requirements. And that is where we differ from our competitors. So these stricter standards should push your customers and through them also your teams to be innovative and have a good understanding of your customer needs. That brings me to another question for Lode. What are the main challenges that customers face today when they are looking for an electrical steel supplier for a particularly demanding application? Well, the design teams of motor and generator producers, they are all challenged by their end customers to continuously improve the efficiency and the performance of their applications. And this occurs in all market segments from e-mobility to electricity generation, either by wind or hydro. Another driver is the requirement to develop more compact motors and generators. And customers also want to improve the performance of these machines, for instance, by increasing the machine's operational speed. The producers, on the other hand, they want to improve the manufacturability of electric motors, and this in a cost-effective and productive way. These requirements translate into electrical steel specifications, but our customers can make different choices in material selection and also in their own motor design, and these different choices achieve the same goals. In practice, we support the customer's development teams at the early stage of the application design. And together we find the right solution for their particular application. We don't just offer an electrical steel off the shelf, we also offer support during the application development as a service. In some cases this leads to the development of a new electrical steel grade, and in some cases it can lead to co-development activities. Lode. Can you please remind us what are the main characteristics of electrical steels? First of all, electrical steels needed for rotating electrical machines such as motors and generators are called non-grain oriented electrical steels. That's because for rotating machines you need electrical steels with good properties in all directions. That's why we call them non-oriented. At Arschlomittal we focus on non-oriented steels, which really form the heart of the motor and generator. And as they are at the core, they are not visible, but they are essential to efficiently convert electrical energy into motion and vice versa. For our customers, the most important part of the electrical steel specification is low magnetic losses. In other words, there is a low loss of energy during the conversion of electricity into motion. In addition, our customers want electrical steels with good mechanical properties. That's important for the rotating part. The third part of the specification is the magnetic polarization of the electrical steel. The higher the magnetic polarization, the higher the motor torque. 
Also, as a society as a whole, the more we electrify applications, the more positive impact on the environment. Tom, we see that reducing the environmental footprint of applications, or decarbonization as you called it earlier, is one of the key drivers behind technical innovation at ArcelorMittal. Could you please describe how customers benefit from ArcelorMittal's efforts in this field? Our customers can indeed benefit from our decarbonization efforts through a number of initiatives which we have gathered under a special brand called XCARB. To describe it better, XCARB is a trademark brand registered by ArcelorMittal. And in fact, it's a kind of umbrella brand under which we are launching a wide range of initiatives which are helping us to move towards the full decarbonization of the steelmaking process. Our goal and also our commitment is to become a net zero emission company by 2050. Therefore, ArcelorMittal is already investing and starting to deploy low CO2 emission technologies. So for the first phase in our decarbonization journey, we are investing in two different technological pathways to reduce steel, which will significantly lower our CO2 footprint. These two pathways are the so-called smart carbon road and also the innovative DRI or direct reduction of iron technology. If I understand correctly, ArcelorMittal can already offer customers CO2 savings from the ongoing initiatives. How does that work? Today we can already offer the first fruits of our decarbonization efforts to our customers or even to the public at large. We have already installed the first elements of our smart carbon technology and these new assets are already making significant CO2 reductions in our current blast furnace steel production process. These CO2 savings are generated by using ever less fossil coal in the steel production process. The CO2 reductions generated in this way are accounted and audited according to the greenhouse gas protocol by an independent auditor. And after that, we are converting our CO2 savings in the so-called XCARP Green Steel Certificate. These XCARP Green Steel Certificates can be reported by our customers to reduce their company's CO2 footprint related to the purchase of our steel. This means a reduction in the so-called scope 3 emissions of those companies. Of course, we can also offer these XCARB green steel certificates for the supply of our electrical steels. This means that every company in the production chain of electrical motors or electric generators can benefit from the CO2 savings that ArcelorMittal is doing. So by purchasing steel with XCARB green steel certificates, our customers are already taking a clear step to reduce the CO2 emissions into their value chain. And by that means, they can prove they are effectively and already contributing to the decarbonization of the steel sector. Thank you, Tom. Now we see the forward-thinking approach of ArcelorMittal when it comes to decarbonization initiatives. Lode, could you tell us how innovation is translated to the product development side? especially in the context of the recent investment in the new production facilities at Mardik? Well, the new line in Mardik is designed in such a way that we can easily transfer the recipes of the existing products. Recipes which are already in production at saint chély can be copied to the new line in Mardik. The first concern of our customers is for steel makers to increase the production capacity for electrical steels. Using this copy engineering approach, we can make the reapproval process as lean as possible for the customer. In the end, it's a win-win if we get the new capacity on the market as soon as possible. That's one part of the story, but we are investing in a line for many years to come. That's why we have already included features in Mardik that we can enable later. These features can be used to develop new products with lower losses, higher magnetic polarization, higher mechanical strength, depending on the future needs of our customers. We can also meet the customer's additional functional requirement, such as insulation coatings for electrical steels. But our first priority is to ensure that we can deliver the same products from both saint chély d'Apché and from our new Mardik facility. Not only the new production line in Mardik, but also the continuous investments in saint chély will allow us to develop more advanced product in the future. With these important investments, we are proactively anticipating growing demand for electrical steels in terms of both volume and quality of the product's properties. Eric, the Mardik investment looks like an important step towards meeting your customers' future needs. 
Can you tell us how this new production facility will support the development strategies for your customers in the years to come? As the Lord said, the additional production facility in Mardik will complement our existing electrical steel plant at saint gilles d'Apché. It represents a major technical and human investment and will ensure the highest level of quality thanks to its state-of-the-art features. As well as producing around 200,000 tons of electrical steels per year, it will also help our customer realize and market high-end products in the automotive and industry sectors. We are currently on schedule with the initial launch timing, so we can foresee the first tons being produced a year from now. With the production capacity of the new plant, ArcelorMittal's output of non-grain oriented fully processed electrical steels will triple to reach about 300,000 tons annually. In addition, we are continuously investing in our existing production facility at saint gilles d'Apché to ensure that we offer the highest quality product and services from both plants. It is also important to note that once the Mardic plant is fully operational, ArcelorMittal will become the only steel maker in Europe to operate two upstream and two downstream plants. This will secure the electrical steel supply chain in Europe and offer customers greater flexibility while supporting local for local manufacturing initiatives. We know that success stories are always the result of a group effort rather than an individual success. So what's your team's success philosophy when it comes to your customers? As a team, we are aware that it takes more than one layer of competence to bring a truly successful project to life. We see and comprehend the projects from different points of view from technical development through commercialization to sustainability. We can call them the pillars of our work approach. Our team has a specific set of skills that allows us to fully understand the client's needs and bring to life a robust commercial, technical, supply chain service offer. While we take into consideration different aspects of each particular customer case, we strive to create a relationship of trust which nurtures customers' intimacy. Thank you, Eric. And thank all of you for the conversation and for sharing your insights. I think we all have a better understanding of how ArcelorMittal supports customers and society as we transition towards more sustainable mobility and energy generation. If you wish to learn more about ArcelorMittal's products and services, please visit europe.arcelormittal.com.